In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to set up an SVG font and use it in Figma. I've already set up this container and you'll see that there are a couple of different text elements in here. You'll notice that they're all set to fill. Now, to get this SVG to work, uh, the first thing is I, I created this little icon and you'll see that I have four separate icons. The number one thing you need to make sure is that you're, you've selected union. Now what we can do, I'm going to just call this checker and we are going to come over here and hit export and just export as an SVG. We'll go to icomoon.io and launch the app. You'll see that there's some icons already uploaded. You can just completely ignore those. Come up here to import icon, hit checker.svg. If you want, because you know, I assume you're gonna be using this more, we'll call this checker. You can call it your brand name, whatever you want. Let's click on this. Now, if you had multiple, you'd wanna make sure all of them were selected, but we only have the one. So make sure it has that orange border indicating that it's selected. And we're gonna come down to generate font and you'll see that we have this. I'm going to do show ligature as well because we can add a ligature name in here uh, for just like Font Awesome, if you're typing in the name, it will generate that glyph. The next thing we're going to do is come down here to download and hit download. All right, this is where I got tripped up. So this is the spot to pay attention. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we install and we'll just install it. Uh, it should be all good, right? Now, the one thing you'll need to do is come and click on this demo.html file. This is what shows up and what we can come down and do is just come right here and we're going to copy that. And now we can go back to our Figma file and here's where the other thing might trip you up. So let's just copy that in and you'll see that it says checker. Well, this is just like font awesome problem is, is we installed our font, but we actually need to restart Figma. I've restarted Figma. And so now if I just come in here and paste in our icon, you'll see that this is actually a font. You can see it's the Ico Moon font. So if I copy and get rid of this, put it into our file right there, you'll see that, well, this is still enter. So all I need to do is come in here, type in Ico Moon, and you'll see that now this has changed. Uh, you might have to change the color, which is fine. And now you can have this at the end of any sentence. Thanks for watching.